7.6 billion people. Seven continents, 195 countries, approximately 160 ethnic groups. In this world, there are 7.6 billion different personalities. In this world, there are 7.6 billion different beliefs, ambitions, goals, dreams, chances. In this world, there are 7.6 billion people waiting for you to make your mark on them. Everyone has a dream, but too many people don't want to work hard enough to achieve that dream. See, a dream is something that you breathe 24-7, and it is your life. But the problem is, we live in a world with too much privilege. I quote Prince EA when I say, Unfortunately, we live in a kinda world. I kinda want to work out. I kinda want to get straight A's. I kinda want to achieve my dream. If you only kinda try, then you're only going to get kinda the result you are looking for. Hardships are going to happen. That is life. But if you think about it, the people that go through the most achieve the greatest. Beyonce had depression, Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's, and Jim Carrey was living on the streets at one point. But how did they make it? Through hard work, dedication, and resiliency. I once asked a dying man, what are your biggest regrets? He looked at me in the eyes and said, I regret not what I did, but what I never took the chance to do. Too many times people wait too late to achieve their dreams. Why not today? Why not now? A recent study said that the average teenager will spend 10 years of their life staring at their phone. Now I ask you, how is this called social media? If anything, it is distancing us from the face-to-face -face connections, losing sight of family, friends, and the real, and I stress real, relationships. Now you may be listening and wondering, how does this have to do with dreams? You see, a dream doesn't come to you. A dream is harnessed deep within, but you can't look on a screen expecting it to come to you. You could have all the talent in the world, but hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Life is not simply to work, pay the bills, and party on the weekend. Look, I am no professional, but I can tell you this. Everyone on this planet has a gift, but what I stand here and ask is do you have the resiliency, the courage, and the dedication to reach it? Or will you just let it slip away? Picture life as a dartboard. The best you can do is triple 20, right? Now if you aim and you miss, you might hit the 4. You see, the problem is your dream is the triple 20, but too many of you are just aiming for the 4. If I had aimed at the 4, I might have missed the board. What I'm saying is if you shoot for the moon, you will still land among the stars. Greatness is not measured by money and stature, it is measured by courage and heart. Whatever you put into something is what you are going to get out. The ones who can pick themselves up in hard times. The ones who can say, I can, I should, I will. The ones who know they will achieve greatness, will. The question I ask you today is, if you were to die right now, would you be happy with what you have done with your life? Would you be happy with your relationships, with your family and friends? Happy with your marks, the risks you have taken? Or would you regret the things you haven't done, the chances you didn't take? You have been blessed with this beautiful thing called life, which is filled with love and beautiful people. Life doesn't ask us to be the greatest. All it requires is that we try our greatest. Today is the day. Today is the day where you take a chance. You try something new. You stand up for something right. You achieve greatness. And most of all, you have no regrets. Because in this world, there are 160 ethnic groups. 195 countries, 7 continents, and 7.6 billion people. All waiting for you to make your mark on them.